Hey guys, and welcome on into today's NFL pick video play for Sunday, November 12th, 2017. To get all of our NFL plays, you can check those out over at stumpthespread.com, linked down in the video description, and be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. So heading into this one, we're going to be talking about this contest here in the afternoon between the Giants and the 49ers. Obviously not the most intriguing matchup on the board by any means, but one where we feel like there is some value to be had. The Giants actually coming to this one as slight favorites here, giving about two and a half points to the home team. And this probably surprises a lot of people given the fact that the Giants have not been having a lot of success, especially as of late, but they are going on the road against a team that's winless and also has had a lot of issues this year. So this actually could be a pretty competitive matchup between two teams that have been some of the lesser squads, certainly so far this season in the NFL. But the Giants, they're standing just one in seven overall. They're coming off of a really embarrassing loss in their last outing at home where they fell to the Rams by a final of 17-51 to where it really looked like the Giants were just throwing in the towel and saying that, you know, we're giving up at this point. But obviously that's not going to be the case. Going forward, this team is going to continue to try to win. But there is some questions right now with how this roster for the Giants uh, whether they have respect or not for their head coach and whether the head coach has lost the locker room. If that's the case, things are only going to get tougher here potentially for the Giants going forward. On the year, this is a New York team that's had a lot of issues on both sides of the ball. They're ranked 30th in the NFL in scoring average, putting up about 15.9 points per game, while their defense ranks 29th in the NFL in total uh, points allowed, giving up about 25.9 points per contest. So they're at minus 10 points as their average margin not where the Giants thought they would be at this point in the year. You can give them some benefit of the doubt, given the fact that their best player, Odell Beckham Jr., has been out and continues to be out. And that really takes a big threat away from this offense. And when the offense isn't performing as well, that just makes things tougher on the defense and gives the opponents more scoring opportunities to go on and score against this Giants defense. But it's been pretty ugly. It doesn't feel like things are going to be turning around here for the Giants, but perhaps going on the road, getting away from all the drama in New York and rallying around just that locker room of the players trying to perform here against one of the other worst teams in the NFL. Maybe that'll be enough for them to put together a better performance, but that's going to be easier said than done, and I'm a bit skeptical here, even going against this San Francisco 49ers team that is winless on the year. They're 0-9 overall. They have been competitive in a lot of their games. A lot of those were coming in the first month or so of the regular season. They haven't been quite as competitive in some of their losses lately, but also some of those really bad losses where they were blown out came against teams like the Cowboys and Eagles, who are some of the top squads in the NFC. So it's not like they've been getting blown out by bad competition by any means. They played a competitive game against their divisional foe, the Cardinals, in their last outing, losing in that one by 10 points. And actually, this 49ers team ranks very similarly to the Giants on both sides of the ball. They're also 29th in the NFL in scoring average, putting up 15.9 points per game. They're 31st in total team defense, giving up 26.6 points per contest. So they're just a little bit worse in that margin at about minus 10.5 to 11 points per game are the 49ers. But Right now, the Giants being at 1-7 overall, having that one win under their belt at least, um, I actually think can play to the disadvantage of New York. This is a 49ers team still winless on their year, looking to get that first win, and that's certainly something to play for. Obviously, the 49ers don't want to go winless throughout the entire regular season. They have to feel like this is their best shot to pick up a win uh, going through the second half of the regular season. Nobody wants to go winless in the NFL. It's a black eye, not only to all the players that are on the team, but also the franchise. And as a result, I think the fact that the 49ers have zero wins coming into today is actually more of a motivating factor um, than the Giants having just one win right now if they were trying to play for their first win. And it is on their home field. So they get that home field advantage, which is also worth something. And we just feel like the 49ers can keep very competitive today. This, you know, this is a team that nearly beat the Seahawks on the road, nearly beat the Rams. Um, they've just had a lot of really competitive games. They nearly beat the Redskins on the road, the Colts on the road, the Cardinals on the road. So they have shown an ability to play in close games. Really, their only convincing defeats have come against some of the top teams in the NFC. So we do expect 
the 49ers to compete hard here today. Even though it's not likely that Garoppolo is going to be in the game, we still feel like this is a great chance for the 49ers to potentially pick up their first win. So we're going to take the home team in this one, siding with the San Francisco 49ers, getting the points as our NFL pick video play. And again, guys, to get all of our NFL plays, you can check those out over at stumpthespread.com, linked in the video description. And be sure to click that subscribe button on our YouTube channel. Thanks for stopping on in, and we hope to see you in future videos. Bye.